What's up lads, welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is a cheap, overpowered Premier League starter team for FIFA 20. These ratings aren't official in the actual squad, I just thought it'd be a cool squad to put together. Tomorrow we get the official ratings, so from now on, all squads and stuff like that you'll see on the channel will have the official ratings as uh, EA have, have hinted or they've said on their Twitter account that they're dropping the full database tomorrow, September 6th. But I thought as we're getting closer to FIFA 20, I'd show you guys a few squads that could be cool starter squads for you guys, cheap squads, overpowered squads, things like that. And and then we'll move on to making more FIFA 20 related content as we get close to the date as we are about two weeks away now and I'm really excited. Now before we get into the video, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not subbed already. We are so, so, so close to 100,000 subs. We are 95 and a half thousand, which is absolutely mental. Fingers crossed we can get to 100k before the end of the year. That is my dream. That is my goal. So fingers crossed we can do that. I'm really excited. Thank you all for the support recently. Uh, without further ado, let's actually jump straight into the squad. Formation-wise, we've gone with the 4-2-3-1 brackets too. Uh, I know that the 4 2 has been pretty OP for the last like, sort of year. Um, however, the wide formation was never really utilized. And I actually like this formation. I feel like the wide play is really easy to build up. Uh, it's really fun to use. So I thought we'd go with the 4-2-3-1. And I feel like it's got the right position so that you're not going to be spending an absolute fortune on certain positions and spending nothing on other positions. It's quite, you know, even quite, you know... It's varied, in my opinion. And as we start off, in goal, we've actually got Heaton. I feel like Heaton will have a really, really good card this year. Uh, he's never really that high rated, but he's usually a decent goalkeeper, a decent benchmark goalie. Um, and as he's English, as you know, he's not really high rated. And he's kind of, no disrespect to him, a bit of a boring keeper in terms of FIFA. You know, he's not from a... Uh, wacky nation you know he's not got incredible stats here or there he's not like ridiculously tall or ridiculously quick or anything like that um he probably sit around maybe one to two thousand coin mark if that he could probably be quite cheap uh, as players usually are like that so uh, we've gone with heathen in net um obviously just moved to aston villa and i think he'll be really good now at the start of last year he was actually fantastic in goal for me i used him in one of my cheaper premier league sides uh when i was just starting the game and i thoroughly enjoyed him actually so we should be interested to see how he is now like i said these ratings won't be final uh, we'll see the final ratings as we move towards uh, September 6th. So the next squads will have confirmed ratings, posi positions and stuff like that. Anyway, let's move on to the defense. So going right to left, in right back, we've got Matt Doherty. This guy was actually really, really good last year. Um, obviously, his team of the season card is, is sort of normal upgraded 76 or 77 rated card was, you know, it was okay. I think at the start of the year, if that card came out, it would have been decent. Um, however, when he got released in the January upgrade, he was kind of a bit past his time I think but when his team of the season card came out it was fast it was tall he got good physical uh, and he was a great all-round right back and I feel like he'll be a great all-round right back uh, this year as well so I thought I'd put him in there uh, price wise it depends really how right backs go this year I think that uh, Wamba Saka, Kyle Walker, Jao Cancelo, Bellerin will take up the high price brackets of the uh, the right backs this year so I think he'll probably be about two to three thousand coins at the start of the game maybe a little bit more or maybe a little bit less depending on how many people want to use him uh, usually with right backs left backs and positions like that um if there's more sort of higher cost right backs and left backs typically their prices seem to be lower in total for the lower end players so hopefully that's the case with matt uh, doherty would be a decent card to use i feel like now moving on on to the right centre-back now. Um, we've actually got Tyrone Mings. Now, I have predicted he'll get a centre-back uh, card, position change card from a left-back um, and a 77-rated card. That's why he's been playing for Villa at the start of the season. And he's been playing well there, if you ask me. Like He's had a few hiccups here and there. But I feel like he's been pretty decent regardless in that position. Um, and I think he could have a really good card. He could have, you know, 70 to 75 pace. Uh, I know he's tall already. He'll have good physical. His defending might be lacking a little bit, but... Hopefully it's not, you know, we, we will see. Um, Price-wise, if he's got over 77 pace, he might be a little bit higher. Um, but if it's 75 and under... I'll put him at one and a half to 3,000 coins, roughly somewhere around there. Let's send it back now. I've gone with Sonny Yuku. I think that's how you say his name, or Sonu Yuku. Uh, anyway, it's the uh, Leicester um, Turkish uh, centre-back, who's had a really good season, actually, for Leicester uh, since signing. He's actually uh, been really solid. I've watched a couple of Leicester games, and he's looked actually really, really good. So I'm happy for Leicester that they've got him uh, to replace Harry Maguire. Um, obviously, I don't think they got him knowing that they were going to sell Harry Maguire, 
but it was probably inevitable that Harry Maguire was going to go the other way. Um, and he looks like he's been really solid for them. So uh, I'm happy for them that they've got him. Uh, and I think he'll be pretty solid this year as well. He should be one of those centre backs that's probably got 71, 72 pace, 78, 79, 80 defending, 75 to 80 physical as well. So he should be pretty decent to use for a starter Premier League team. Price range, I would say, given that he's not, you know, a ridiculously good centre back uh, on the game and he's not really sought after i would probably put him around one to two thousand coins as well i can't see him being much more unless he's got like a ridiculously high outstanding stat like 80 pace or something like that i can't see him being that expensive and i think he'd be really solid this year left back we've got someone that is typically pretty uh pretty well-rounded i'd say um every single year it's actually holobas or holbas um he's pretty decent every single year and i think that this year will be no different i've given him a 76 rated card and uh hopefully he's just you know a decent left back he's never usually that expensive uh although if there is a lack of left backs this year i know luke sure i think's getting an upgrade um and there should be ben mendy there should be uh a couple of left backs here and there that are decent uh hopefully he he you know he retains like a lowish price but he could have a really really high price uh we'll have to see uh going into that and by the way i just thought i'd let you guys know this is all from done from photoshop uh all of this is done completely from photoshop uh i've done this all myself uh so this entire squad it's not i don't have fifa 20 early this is not the beta this is not early access this is all done on photoshop so i've edited it myself it took me a long long time but i'm happy to keep doing this if you guys are enjoying it moving on to midfield now at the right cdn spot we have gone with uh douglas louise i think is his full name or just louise i guess um the new sign to aston villa from man city uh he's actually looked pretty decent this year apart from giving away a goal on like the first game of the season <laughs> just a, a poor a poor mess up uh, that that whole game for Aston Villa was just unfortunate I feel like but uh, I think he could have a really decent OP card this year uh, he seems like a really good nitty gritty sort of CDM uh, and I think he'll be really 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 decent partnered with the left CDM left CDM we've gone with more of a ball playing CDM it's actually uh, Ruben Neves um, I think that he's got the potential to have a really decent card uh, this year I feel like he sits deeper a lot more so he could have a high defensive stat uh, his physical won't be amazing but he should have decent pace decent shooting decent dribbling and hopefully decent defending and passing um, so he should be a really good ball playing CDM and given how FIFA 20 felt when I played the beta it might be a decent card to use alongside uh, Douglas Luiz so I'm looking forward to it now for the uh, further midfield we have got on the left at uh, left mid we've got Alex Awobi I think he should have a decent card this year I hope he gets five star skills he might not but I hope he does um, I can't see him being too expensive either I can see him being one and a half to three thousand coins there'll be a lot of decent options at le that left mid especially with the season some players like Richarlison have had who may be on the right maybe on the left maybe a striker who knows uh, but Felipe Anderson's had a good season Ryan Fraser's had a good season um, you know I think Rashford's getting a left wing card so we should have some really decent options on the left pushing Awobi's price down as the demand for other players goes up so hopefully it's about one to two thousand coins could be a little bit more than that uh, but if he gets five star skills that should be great because he won't have that much pace but he should be quite physical, decent dribbling, hopefully decent skill moves as well, uh, and pretty usable at the start of the year. At Cam, we've gone with Jesse Lingard. I saw some leaked ratings that he got a downgrade, so I'll give him an 80 rated card, because apparently that, that was the leaked uh, rating that he got. I think despite a downgrade, he should still be a decent card to use. At the start of last year, he was actually really good to use. Uh, always has decent pace, decent uh, dribbling, decent passing, half decent shooting, not amazing, no real physical there. If you prefer someone a little bit more physical, I would probably go with someone like Sigurdsson. Less pace, but you get more dribbling, passing, and shooting, and the excuse me, the physicality of, of Sigurdsson. If you're going for a really cheap squad, uh, I think that could be really, really good there. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing how he does. We could also have a Jack Grealish there who might have a decent card this year as well. So we'll have to see. A uh, right mid now, we've gone with El Ghazi. I think that's how you say his name from Aston Villa. Uh, it was a silver last year. I've given him a, a, an upgrade. Might not deserve that much of an upgrade, but from what I've heard, he's been pretty decent this year. So we'll have to see. Uh, but no, would probably have a pretty decent card. Looking forward to it. And, uh, and hopefully um, all of these, all these ratings are pretty close as well. I don't think it'd be that expensive either. All the players in this uh, squad, I don't think would be very expensive. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put them into a cheap, overpowered squad. At striker, I have gone with Joel Inton from Newcastle. Um, I think that he could have a decent card this year. Obviously, he had a Future Stars card last year. I think it was four-star skills, five-star weak foot at Werder Bremen. I think, was it Werder Bremen? No, it wasn't. It was... Um 
I forget. I forget it. I, I'm really bad with my Bundesliga teams. However, I think that uh, that he'll have a decent card nonetheless, and I'm looking forward to using it. I don't think it'll be that expensive. It could be if he has a ridiculously good card, you know, high pace, high dribbling, high physical. When I say high, I mean like 82 pace, like 83, phys uh, 83 physical and like 80 dribbling and like decent shooting. If he's got four star, five stars as well, that might push his price up. So you might be better with going like a, with a Wesley or a, I don't know, like a Michi Batshuayi, someone like that. But he could have a decent card nonetheless, and I feel like uh, he'll be a decent card to use. Um, hopefully, he'll be a decent card to use. But that is my cheap, overpowered Premier League squad for FIFA 20. Uh, let me know down below if you'd consider building this squad. And let me know down below for any suggestions of squads you guys want to see. Uh, I'll be really interested to build your squads and uh, and see what they look like, of course. Um, when the full ratings come out, then you guys will get a better idea, for example, of who to put in your squads and stuff like that. I think this team will cost you no more than 20, 25,000 coins, which I think is a good price to pay for a decent starter squad at the start of FIFA 20. That'll allow you to play some div rivals and not get absolutely destroyed by people uh it'll allow you to play squad battles and not absolutely hate your life um uh, it'll allow you just to sort of build up a nice base generation of coins um and sort of go through the ranks and upgrade your players here there and everywhere so let me know down below if you enjoyed like i said this is all done in photoshop none of this is on early access that of course isn't out yet it's not done on the web app it's not done on, on the beta or anything like that uh it's all made purely from photoshop from myself uh, and i hopefully did a pretty decent job so uh let me know down below if you like that thank you all for watching this video thank you all for the support 95 and a half thousand subs is absolutely ridiculous and i'm so grateful for that uh i'm very very thankful that you guys have shown me the support you guys have uh obviously yesterday's video did really really well the day before that did really really well so i'm very grateful for that and uh we're actually almost at 95,600 uh, subs we've actually gained nearly 200 subs today as well which is just crazy so thank you all for that and uh and i'll see you lads later